Hi, I'm Beckett from Courtside Sports, and today we're going to cover four things you need to know before you make the switch to a new racket. So, new year, new me. I'm losing really badly on the tennis court. It's time to switch to a new racket. What are the four things that you need to know before you make that switch? And what are the four things that I need to know before I make the switch? The first thing is you need to know your racket. What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? The second thing, you need to know how that racket impacts your game. Does it amplify your strengths? Does it amplify your weaknesses? The third thing you need to know is what kind of holes are you trying to fill in your game and what are you willing to sacrifice to get there? And the last thing you need to know is how to demo. There are so many choices out there. It's really easy to get overwhelmed on the court with all these amazing options from a lot of great brands. I think rackets are as good as they have been ever. So first thing, know your racket. I know I like my racket on my forehand when I'm playing more aggressively, and I know I don't really like it, especially on my backhand, and especially when I'm playing more defensive tennis. But how does that affect my game? Well, I switched to this racket because I was playing a lot of hardcore tennis and I was really trying to press and be a more attacking player. Now, the situation has changed. I'm playing more on clay. I'm finding myself in situations where I'm need a lot more versatility and I'm not just able to play aggressive tennis the whole match. That means I'm looking for something a little bit more forgiving and that takes us to number three. What holes am I trying to fill? I'm trying to fill this defensive hole that a 95 square inch racket is put me in. I just don't have the strength in my body or the endurance to do it over the full course of a match to play hard, long rallies in a defensive style with this racket. It is too demanding for me to swing, and I'm willing to sacrifice that control to get it. I feel very confident when I'm up in the court, but I don't find myself up in the court as often, so I'm willing to let that go for a little bit more forgiveness. And that takes us to how to demo. Not everyone is me and is lucky enough to have access to Canada's best demo program because it's not where they work. I work at Courtside Sports, so I get to demo rackets all the time. But if you're not in my situation, you're maybe not staying up to date all the time with the latest tech, you're gonna wanna talk to a professional. Here at Courtside Sports, we have certified master racket technicians. They're gonna help you narrow down the field. So when you're on court, you're picking between the best of the best for your game. Now, I'd recommend only taking two or three different rackets from your normal one at a time, switching it up often. Five minutes racket A, five minutes racket B, five minutes racket C. You don't want to get too used to a racket because your game will start automatically compensating for its weaknesses and accentuating its strengths. You want to feel that difference and feel what comes most naturally to you to help find the racket that most naturally suits your game. So I've demoed a ton of rackets, but I have a short list of ones that I could kind of switch to in the back of my mind. So I revisited all of them. I'll put a list on the screen here. Um, and I shortlisted three that I thought were really good for me. The Head Extreme Tour, the Yonex ESO 98, and the upcoming Radical Pro, which I got to hit in prototype form. Now you'd think, I, I do ratings for all my rackets, why don't I just pick the highest rated racket? It's not that simple because I'm going to prioritize different things on the court now. I really prioritize maneuverability. It's important for me to get that whip on my forehand. That helps me with the control when I'm up in the court and with the power when I'm back in the court. That kind of put the Radical Pro down a little bit, so I was able to cut that one out because I just wasn't getting the kind of whip through my forehand that I liked. And I was willing to sacrifice the stability on the court, especially through the backhand that I loved with the Radical Pro. Then it was between the E-Zone and the head, and to me there's just something special about the feel with the Extreme Tour. It made me like being on court. It gave me the confidence to play shots I wouldn't have otherwise played. When a racket makes you feel good on court, you know, I just play tennis for fun. I'm not a professional. You should go with it. It's just gonna help you enjoy that hobby that you love the most. 
What are the four things that you need to know before you make that switch? The first thing is you need to know your racket. What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? The second thing, you need to know how that racket impacts your game. Does it amplify your strengths? Does it amplify your weaknesses? The third thing you need to know is what kind of holes are you trying to fill in your game and what are you willing to sacrifice to get there? And the last thing you need to know is how to demo. There are so many choices out there. It's really easy to get overwhelmed on the court. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll reply as soon as I can. I love chatting down there with you guys. You're definitely going to want to check out our Instagram at Courtside Sports. And if you need any tennis gear, www.courtsidesports.com is the place to go. I'm Beckett, and we'll see you next time.